Matt, what's your initial reaction when you when you hear the news of Buddy Black's firing? I think we were all shocked. Uh, I didn't think we were going to come to the stadium today and it, it'd be like this. Um, I think it's just shocking to everybody. Definitely surprised by the timing. Um, I, I don't. I don't think you know. There's a lot of a lot of us that are disappointed in the way we played so far this year. Um, but, but but with the way we played, uh, you know, we, we can all get better. Um, you know, I, I guess I, I think the, the front office felt like going in a different direction. Um, not quite sure, you know, what what what, what it is. But uh, like I said, we're, we're going to get ready to play. And uh, whoever our new manager is, we got to get ready to, to play for that guy. Matt, they say sometimes like new scenery, you know, can help a guy get into a rhythm or whatnot. Do you, can, a, can a manager or a shakeup like this have a similar effect on the team just because there is change? Uh, can, we'll know? see. Um, like, like I said, I don't know. Only Only time will tell. Uh, like I said, this is a brand new team. You know, a lot of new guys on this team. It does take time to gel, and um, you know, um, I, I'm. I think that uh, we'll all figure it out. We've been playing pretty good baseball these last two or three weeks, so uh, I'm happy in the direction we're going. With uh, not of a, not all of us playing as as well as we should be playing. We're only I think one game over or under 500. So. Was this play? Was this change needed? I mean, I would say there are a lot of guys in this team that would say it's on the players as well who are underperforming. But was was this? Change need to kickstart some guys. No, I, I don't. That's not for me to, to answer. Um, I, I play for whoever I play for whatever manager, you know, the, the team has, and, and and the front office. Like I said, that's their decision to to, to make the decision that they made, and I, I still got to go out here and perform. How much does a manager really affect the, the wins or losses throughout the season? Um, like I said, as, as players, we have to go out here and perform, and we haven't. Not all of us have performed the way we, we should and want to perform, so we got we to gotta continue to grind it out and, 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 and try to be as, as good as we can to, to make the playoffs this year. I think, you know, it was, it was more shock than anything. We, uh, you know, we felt like, you know, we were getting things going. We played, you know, fairly well this month, um, you know, but uh, obviously the, the, the uh, front office expects a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I, th I thought, you know, Buddy was doing a pretty good job. So you are surprised by the timing then? Yeah, definitely surprised by the timing. I mean, we we were a couple of plays away from you know on this weekend from being four games back uh, or three, you know, depending on how you see the first game. So, um, you know, I think the guys in here, you know, kind of took it a little bit rough, but you know, being professional, we have to go out and continue to you know to play. He's always had a good, a good reputation as a player's manager. Do you feel as though he got the most out of, this, out of the guys in this clubhouse? Did guys respond to him rather well? Oh uh, yeah, Buddy was faced with a tough task of you know bringing in an overhauled roster and, and trying to get him to gel. And I think, you know, we were we were getting to that point, and hopefully we can continue that. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to continue without without Buddy at, at the helm. I mean, I was disappointed. I mean, Buddy Buddy's a great man, great manager. Um, you know, he did, he did everything uh, that we asked him as players to do. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, I, we understand it's part of the business, but, um, you know, we're definitely going to miss him over here. How much of this is on the players and, and some guys not performing up, up to expectations? Um, I mean, each, each, each player understands what they, have, what they have to do and what they're capable of doing. Um, I don't think it's, it's, it's necessarily on the players or, or on the coaches or on, on Buddy, if, if that. Um, you know, it's just a decision that the front office made, and uh, but we can't control that. We just got to keep doing what we're doing. And I think uh, early in the year, I could expect that just for, for all the new guys. But um, you know, right now we just need to we need to bottom lines. We need to get better, and that's it. Um, there's no there's no excuses. I mean, we just got to get better. We got to play more consistent baseball, and and uh, we got to grind it out. Yeah, I was uh, hanging out the house, and I got the news. Uh, I got a text message to make sure that it was correct, and. Um, you know, I respected Buddy as as a manager, as a person. I know that he did the same thing for me and all his players. Um, but you know, this is one of the things that it's kind of our business that it happens. Um, Are you surprised? Sur surprised by the timing? Uh, a little bit. Uh, we were playing well, um, but you know, it's one of those things where I just got to go out in the field and play and. You know, you just kind of you know, we had, we talked with AJ and uh, he told us what his decisions were, and you know we just got to go along with it. We uh, trust what he put out on the field and what he's done so far with um, with everything so far in the off season. You know, he's a smart guy, so uh, yeah. Do you think there's an accountability factor in, the, in that locker room? Are guys putting this on themselves too? Oh, absolutely. Um, every time we go out there, we try to compete, and you know, like myself included, I've pitched to my uh, capabilities, and a lot of us. No, we're, we're better than we are. And Did you think he was a good manager? Oh, I loved him. Um, loved him as a person. 
uh, I'm not too worried about him uh, getting another job because I know that he's respected around the game and uh, he's in good hands. Uh, yeah, disappointed to see Buddy go. Um, you know, understand from an organizational standpoint, uh, I think we need a little little change and, um, you know, support that and, and, and they do what they need to do to, to support us to get these wins and uh, hopefully that's, you know, what gets us going and, and, and over the hump. But, you know, obviously, uh, you know, personally with my relationship with Buddy, you know, sad to see him go. There's a sign in the clubhouse that says accountability. How much of this is on the players, do you think? Yeah, all of it, you know. Uh, you know, the, the front office thinks we need a change. You know, you can't get a whole new roster of 25 guys, you know. Um, it, it, it ends up falling on the manager, uh, and you understand that. Um, but, you know, everyone feels responsible. It, it is about accountability. And, um, you know, when you hear something like, like Buddy getting fired, you, you, you know, all of us are instantly thinking, you know, what could we have done better to prevent this from happening? Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we're all we're all working hard and fighting for the same thing. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, there was just a move that that uh, they that they had to make. You said that you believe, believe strongly in the guys in this roster. Was Buddy Black just not getting the most out of the players on this team? And if so, I mean, why you saw you had him a little bit last year? Why not make the change in the season and start the season with your own guy? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think you know the one thing in that room. I do think like the coaches and Buddy himself, you know, talked a lot about they believe in this team. I think even today in the conversation with Buddy, he mentioned he thought it was, you know, his strongest club and you know a team that had that had a lot of talent. And I think really ultimately it's just you know that the and I think we, we've all seen some of the inconsistency and, and the frustration with that uh, when part of the decision. But there, there really is a lot to it as far as you know as far as sitting down and making a call on you know on on why. And the second part of the deal, I didn't hear Marty. What was this? You, you had a small sample size to see what Buddy was. Oh yeah, why not at the end? Yeah, I think I think because I thought you know I, I thought Buddy has you know he has a lot of good qualities you know he had a lot of good things that he brought to the game I wanted to give him an opportunity to take a team with you know potential a little bit more talent and you know and, and see if, if you know he could run with that kind of club and you know last year when I came in here it was a chance to get you know kind of get around guys and I still you know and I, I liked you know I liked a bunch of the things that I saw but I know that we really from a talent standpoint. You know, really, we're in a position where where we would have competed at the end of last year, and I felt like you know, I want to give him an opportunity to take this team and kind of see where it went.